1951. Just four years into Blackburn's program, the Flyers win 27 games. The 51 Flyers were led by Don Monk Meineke, Chuck Grigsby, Junior Norris, and Pete Boyle. Meineke averaged over 20 points and 11 rebounds a game. He became Blackburn's first All-American. Monk was a tremendous competitor. His work ethic uh, it would, would go off the charts. He had, he had great pride. He was best when a game was on the line. Just a driven person and uh, tough as nails. And he was right at home on that team because Chuck Grigsby and Junior Norris and Pete Boyle and all in that same class were all fierce competitors. In 1951, the National Invitation Tournament took place in New York City. It was the premier postseason event, and UD was invited to the party. First, the Flyers faced Lawrence Tech, a 20-2 team from Detroit. Meineke burned the Nets for 30 points, and UD won 77-71. Next up, third-seeded Arizona. Meineke was a red-hot 11-14 from the floor. Finishing with 37 points, the Flyers win by 6, 74-68. Dayton was in the semifinals. Fans poured into New York City. Demand for rail tickets was so high, extra train cars were added to transport UD fans to the Big Apple. The Flyers faced top seed St. John's. At halftime, Dayton was up five. But with eight minutes left in the game, Meineke fouled out, followed quickly by Junior Norris. With a basket at the buzzer, St. John's tied the game. The Redmen went up by three in overtime, but Dayton played great team basketball and pulled out a 69-62 victory. Coach Blackburn had put Dayton on the map of college basketball. In his fourth year in this so-called modern era, he's in the NIT championship game. Now he, he had to be some kind of a coach to, to do that. After a great tournament run, the Flyers came up against BYU in the big game. After a close first half, BYU cruised to a 62-43 victory. It was a great season for the Flyers, and with many of their players returning, expectations for 1952 were running high.